I think the teleteaching experience is a, a valuable one as a teaching tool. And you can have a whole classroom being able to get into a patient room. Um, and, and once they see the classroom of, um, of students, you know, you could see it in their face that they're really enlightened to do the session. Hello, my name is Jim Cavanaugh. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Physical Therapy here at the University of New England. And today, I'd like to talk to you about teleteaching. Teleteaching is a novel educational tool that we developed several years ago. It uses encrypted video conferencing technology to stream patient care sessions over the internet into a classroom here on the UNE Portland campus. The sessions are occurring live uh, they are unscripted and they provide students in the classroom with an opportunity to see a, an acute care environment in a way that um, they are not otherwise able to do. We developed teleteaching to address two major problems that we were having in the classroom. The first was that class sizes have been growing in recent years, which has made it difficult for us to send students out into local clinical environments. The second problem is that clinicians who work in local healthcare facilities have become increasingly busy and uh, many times have a difficult time coming to the classroom to share their experiences with UNE students. Hi, I'm Liz Pontius. I'm a physical therapist here at Maine Medical Center. I've been involved in the teleteaching program for three years now and it's just been a great experience all around. Um, I'd have to say that from a physical therapist point of view, a clinician, it has benefits for me. When I'm in a teaching mode, I'm actually looking at my patients differently. And, and on a personal level, it's just very rewarding. I enjoy education and I enjoy being involved in it very much. And so to know that I'm providing students with um, a quality learning experience, that's very personally rewarding to me. Teleteaching has really enhanced my ability as an instructor to bring examples of patient care to the students there are many benefits that I can think of. First of all, the sessions are live and completely unscripted for the most part. So that what students see on the screen is the kind of thing that they're gonna see when they're actually out in the clinic. Um, the experience for them is a shared learning experience. They're all seeing the same patient together, which is particularly helpful with such a large group of students. Um, what we see on the screen are examples of clinical decision making, clinical reasoning, examples of examination techniques, interventions, a whole variety of things that are captured in real time uh, in a way that is completely different than a typical paper case that I might otherwise give the students to uh, discuss in the classroom. I think that for the students, I can only imagine thinking back to my own experience in school in a classroom talking about these concepts of what tone looks like, abnormal tone, or what it means to move a patient this way or that. Um, it's all kind of in the abstract. And if I had had the opportunity to actually see it in motion at the time that I was learning about it, I have to only believe that I could integrate that knowledge so much better. I was maybe surprised by some of the benefits I saw to my patients, things that I hadn't expected to see. Um, people want to be helpful and they want to teach and um, they're engaged. My patients are engaged and m on a greater level than when it's just me in the room, you know, oh, here comes Liz, the PT, but you put a camera and students that they can interact with. Um, they lighten up, they brighten up, they're, they're engaged. That's really exciting to see. Teleteaching isn't without its challenges on the academic side. The, one of the biggest challenges is that it requires um, scheduling far in advance of the actual session, and that schedule has to be coordinated with the patient care sessions and the clinician availability at Maine Medical Center. The second major challenge is that during the session itself, uh, the transmission, the video conferencing transmission, sometimes is vulnerable to problems with internet connectivity. So the quality of the transmission can diminish at times. And finally, uh, we found that students oftentimes have 
difficulty or they're not, they're not very quick to, um, to interact with the patients and clinicians that they see on the screen, whether or not, whether that's because they feel intimidated by the technology or they're uncomfortable asking the question in front of their classmates, whatever the reason. But a lot of times the interaction has to be facilitated by the instructor. I say no downside, but it's not without its challenges and it's not without effort to pull it off. So I want to be honest about that. You can only imagine as a busy clinician with a caseload bigger than you'll ever get to, and this is the day you're doing teleteaching. And we're good to go in a half hour, and suddenly something's happened with the patient that you had planned to do the experience with. So it's like full panic mode trying to find the next patient. You know, you try to anticipate, you try to have a couple people lined up that are willing, um, so there's a little, there can be a little bit of a stress factor. Um, there is some time that's involved. You want, you hope to find just the right patient because you want it to be a good experience. So that takes time. Anticipating who's going to still be here three days from now when this is all going to go off magically. Um, and then the consent. So sometimes it sounds really great in the abstract, but on the day that it's about to happen, we've had some patients get cold feet a little nervous about that idea of being in front of a group of other people over the camera. So there is some scrambling and some time that you have to be willing to invest to make it happen. Um, but I would say all in all, definitely worth it. Teleteaching first started in a physical therapy classroom. Soon after we ran our first session, we invited occupational therapy students to join the physical therapy students to see the same patient care session together. So there's really no reason why teleteaching couldn't be expanded to include even additional uh, health professions training programs, students from those programs having a shared learning experience together, all of them watching the same experience. Similarly, there's no reason why other health professions training programs couldn't use teleteaching for their own purposes whether it's dental medicine, pharmacy, social work, nursing, the list is really endless. Anytime there's a need to bring a real life, live, unscripted patient care session into the classroom for students then to evaluate and discuss makes teleteaching an excellent educational tool.